Welcome to Best for Bikers. To give you some inspiration as to where you should plan your road trips to, and to give you some must-see routes, today we are going to show you a list of the 10 best motorcycle roads of Europe. We are going to start this list with the Furka Pass in Switzerland, which is situated in one of the snowiest regions of Switzerland. It is 28 kilometers or 17 miles long and reaches a height of 2,429 meters. The pass was casted as the dramatic backdrop for the car chase in James Bond's Goldfinger from 1964, the one with the Aston Martin DB5 and the Ford Mustang convertible. Next up, we have the SS38 Passo dello Stelvio, Italy. The Passo dello Stelvio is located in Provincia di Bolzano. This beautifully curved pass is the highest paved mountain pass in the Eastern Alps. This astonishing road is about 28 kilometers or 17 miles long, at an elevation of 2,757 meters. It definitely doesn't cease to amaze. You should be rather careful riding down this road for there could be some mountain goats crossing the road. The SS 125, Sardinia, Italy. In Provincia in Waro, the best part of the fabulous SS 125 is between Urzulia to Carlagonone, because of the amazing views. The SS 125 is about 25 kilometers, or 15 miles long, and is full of fast winding mountain road and accompanying scenery. You can take a moment to relax at one of the many bars in the Carlagonone port before heading out again. Grossglockner Alpenstrasse, Austria. The Grossglockner Alpenstrasse is located in Vorfouge. It's an immaculate stretch of open road that will astonish you with eye-wateringly beautiful scenery after every hairpin bend. This road is an impressing 68 kilometers, or 42 miles long, and carves around the Grosslochner, which is the highest Alp of Austria, with 3,798 meters. You can enjoy this all without having to worry about speed limits, at 100 kilometers an hour, you're not exactly held back by law. Trollstigen, Norway. In Andelsnes, Norway, the Trollstigen is one of the most famous national tourist routes. Trollstigen literally means the Trolls Road. The part of the Trolls Road that creeps up the mountain is not particularly long with just 11 tight hairpin turns that take you from almost 800 meters above sea level to the valley floor. But the national tourist route from Guy Ranger to the bottom of Rumstall Valley, covers well over 150 kilometers or 93 miles. You'll have to twist your way through 11 hairpin bends as the road, which is carved into the mountain and supported by stone walls, climbs up to Stigrora, 858 meters above sea level while an impressive bridge carries the road across the Stigfossen waterfall. Our next road, Transfagrasan, takes us to Romania. The Transfagra San is located in Comuna Carta, and it consists of hundreds of twists and turns, cutting in a beautiful way through the heart of the Carpathian mountain range. This piece of magnificent road is about 113 kilometers long, and it rises over 2,000 meters above sea level. BBC's Top Gear rated it one of the best driving experiences on Earth, and it's actually true. Next we have the Col de Labonnet, in France. This beautiful road is situated in the region of Jorsias, in France. This is the highest mountain road in Europe. This route is 45 kilometers long, 
and the pass finishes at around 2,700 meters above sea level. As you get higher, the road gets more and more challenging. Riding down the other side of the mountain will treat you to a race circuit-like experience, supplemented with a breathtaking dive into the valley. Next, the AL-3102, from Bikaris to Vilifik. Located in Bikaris, lies a delightful plate of grayish Spanish spaghetti, draped all over the Sierra de Filibas mountain range. 26 kilometers full of amazing hairpin turns, in the shadow of the Tetica de Bicaris, the highest point 2050 meters above sea level of the Almeria region. On a clear day, this will provide you with a stunning view on the Tabernas Desert, and the Sierra Nevada National Park. Now we visit the Tourmalie, in France. In Berges, France, you will find the Tourmalie, a legendary place for motorcyclists. For about 22 kilometers, this climb is characterized by long ramps, only interrupted by a few bends along the way. No other climb is so closely associated with the Tour de France, as it has been used in the Tour de France ever since 1910. And finally the Col de Lisord, France. Just 23 kilometers long, it is probably one of the nicer mountain passes in the French Alps. With a height of 2,360 meters the Col de Lisord is subjected to late opening. Before heading over there you should double check if it's opened. Lying near the entrance of the Parc Naturel Regional du Carras, the road twists and twirls endlessly while feasting your eyes on limestone and needle-like, ochre-colored rock formations. Thanks for watching, please support us by liking and subscribing, so we can bring you more inspiration for your tours.